Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moments with Kate, where I talk about skincare, wellness, and fashion. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, make sure you're subscribed down below. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review, walkthrough, usage case of my favorite tote in the world, and it is the Bayes Full Size Work Tote. I switched up my recording location. I'm still trying to figure out the best situation, so let me know what you think of this one. I'm in a little condo, so I'm always trying to find the best place to film, but I'm low on options, so let me know what you think of this one. I also didn't time this right, and I have a load of laundry going down the hall, so I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. Hopefully it doesn't pick up too, too much, but let's jump into the video. I've had this tote for about a month now. I've used it for the general days in the office, but also full-fledged business travel. And so now that I've sort of ran the gamut with it, I wanted to share my full experience with it, let you know what it's good for, let you know what it's not so good for, and just share my full honest thoughts. And I will say I do have a discount code below for $15 off if you haven't purchased from Bayes before. That's your opportunity, so I will leave that down below. Let me know if you have any questions there. But let's start with a general tour of the bag. As mentioned, I did get the full size one. As you can see, it's quite large. The exact dimensions are 16.75 width, a 13.5 height, and a 7 inch depth. So that is the full size there. They also have a mini if you think this is too big, but I really wanted the big one. I carry a lot of stuff, especially for business travel, and so I wanted to ensure that it would fit everything. And I actually found this bag through some like workwear influencers, people that share their office outfits every day. They always had this bag and so I was very intrigued and I decided to get it. They also have a lot of different finishes or materials that you can get. You can get brown, I think you can get white, you can even get this black one in Crocodile, which is the most popular. And I almost got that one, but I thought I might get sick of the Crocodile after a few years. And I knew this bag was built so well that I would use it for more than a few years. So I went the plain black. It's got a bit of a sheen, got a bit of a pattern to it, but I knew it would go with the absolute most types of situations and outfits. Looking at the outside of the bag itself, it has the standard straps that can go on your shoulder, but it also has a proper padded sort of book bag strap that can be a crossbody or just you know on one shoulder to just brace for those um, heavy days going into the office. There's also a water bottle slot on the side and what was truly the winner of this bag was it fits a 32 ounce water bottle. I love to drink water and so I knew if it fit that big of a water bottle I was sold. <laughs> on the other side is just a simple zip pocket. I would say it fits, you know, about my hand size, and so I put my AirPods in there, I put my passport when I'm traveling for business, any important documents like vaccine papers, things like that. On the back is another two pockets, just this simple zip one. I keep some little clamps and bobby pins and things like that in here. And this pocket's really cool because you can just throw your phone in there or anything like that, or if you unzip it, it actually works as a sort of handle for when you're traveling. You can put it on the back of your luggage and it goes right through. And so it just sits right top of your luggage with the handle going right through. And you can just zoom around the airport without having anything on your shoulders. So I actually love that for business travel. I will also note that if the long book bag strap isn't for you, it's fully able to be taken off. So you can even just keep that in the bag for emergencies. Now, looking into the bag itself, I will say I've never had a tote this large, and so I was nervous that it would just be a pit of nothing and that everything would get lost, especially since it's a black interior, but it hasn't been too bad. I do dig around a bit sometimes, but I am curious. I want to get one of those bag lights. When I first saw it, I thought it was ridiculous. But what it is, is it's essentially a little like night light that goes in your bag, and it only turns on when your bag opens. And so it lights everything up, at first I thought it was absolutely ridiculous, but now I'm kind of tempted. So if anyone has it, let me know if it's worth it. Looking into the bag itself, they do a great job with compartments. So it really puts the space to use and allows you to organize without it just being one big empty open pit. So looking in, there's the laptop sleeve right here, which allows you to not carry a, like a laptop case with you. It just slides in by itself. There's also little organizers attached with places for pens or tampons, certain things like that. There's a nice middle open area. There's a removable pouch, which is really cool. So it buckles in by itself or 
you can remove it. So I keep it in there, but you can remove it for um, like a separate pouch or you can just leave it out if you need more room. What I do is I keep it in and I keep all of my chargers and you know battery ports and adapters and things like that just to keep it all clean and there's no wires getting jumbled up in the rest of the area. So this is really good. There's so many things you could use it for. You could use it for paperwork. You could again just leave it out uh, separately. So there's a lot you can do there. Sorry I really hear the dryer going right now. It's rattling so hopefully it's not picking up too bad. On the other side is just a little zipper right here. Again, you can keep little hidden things. It does fit a fair amount. I would say it's about the size of this in the pocket. And then the last main thing before we get into what I hold in here, there is a really underrated feature and that is simply just a little key fob that attaches. So your keys are always where you want them to be and you never get lost. So at first I'm like, okay, hey, whatever, I don't really care but it has been super, super helpful for me, especially um, when I'm coming in, things are heavy, I have a lot of stuff in my hands. I just know if I zip it on a little bit, they're right there and I can just put it right into my door and easy peasy, I'm never gonna get it lost. Next, let's talk about what I keep in my bag. It's not too different day to day from what I do for work travel, surprisingly. It is quite similar. The only main differences, of course, are my passport, extra documentation, things like that and my toiletry bag and my liquids bag. Both of those fit absolutely fine in addition to what's in here. So I'll show you as well what I keep just general going to the office. So to give you an idea of just how much fits in here, this is the first main thing that fits in. It's bigger than my head and it fits in with ease. I could honestly probably fit four of these in there. That's just how big this bag is. And what this is, is it's just my headphones case so they don't get smushed and so that is a big big thing that goes in there but it fits so I definitely take take it with me everywhere. Next I like to keep a little pouch for small things like receipts. If I'm going on business travel I'll need to reimburse certain PM per DM spends and so it's important to keep all my receipts together. I keep a baseball cap you never know if you're having a bad hair day or if it's raining you just don't want to be seen. I always have a baseball cap. I keep a notebook. I keep sunglasses. Eyeglasses. My wallet. Certain miscellaneous things like masks and um, wet wipes. A few more miscellaneous things at the bottom, like a key card and tampons and wet wipes. I keep a bag within a bag. I find if I'm going shopping and I just need more proper bags, I always have this bag. And then on the side pouch with all the little organizers, I have a Tide to Go. I have my vitamins in a vial. I have a um, lint roller, a small one. I also have a few pens here and then there's a pocket here as well so I'll probably put those small miscellaneous things that were at the bottom of my bag in there so this is a nice cleaning opportunity as well. And then in this little pocket on the side that I said was about the size of a notebook, I keep things like gum, I keep um, granola bars, certain snacks like that. That's my favorite pocket. <laughs> and then of course on the side I do keep that large water bottle. So as you can see, it fits a lot. So when I'm walking to work, I walk about 20 minutes each day to the office and I really don't find I have an issue carrying it. Maybe because I was used to commuting a lot for school with a big book bag, so I don't find a difference. And I definitely utilize the proper strap when I can. When I'm at the office, it tucks under my desk, no problem. And I'm able to sort of pull everything out when I need to. What I like about this for business travel is because there's so much space, I really just have that and a suitcase, which is almost the same size as it, just a bit bigger. And so with that, I can go on, you know, almost a week long trip with just the little suitcase with all the clothes and everything else fits in that bag. I think the only thing that is in the luggage is maybe my hair straightener and everything else goes in there. So it's nice to have, you know, that distinction and it keeps things small but separate as well. The one thing I will note is when I did my recent work business travel, I went through Air Canada and I noticed that they have very similar dimension limitations as most major airlines do. And while I didn't have any issues, no one, you know, batted an eye, it was about an inch to an inch and a half over in almost every 
dimension, every section. And so I was a little nervous that someone might catch it, but no one did. And it fit into the security bins to go under the x-ray, no problem. When putting it under my seat, it did stick out, I would say about this much past the seat in front of me. So I was scared again that someone might say, oh, put it under your seat and there'd be nowhere else to go. But no one had an issue with it. No one said anything. They did look at it, but they could tell that it was under there. So that's the only thing I would note. There wasn't much room for my feet during takeoff, but once after takeoff, I took it out from under the seat in front of me, put it behind my legs and then stretched out my feet under the seat in front of me. So while I was nervous because it technically is over, I hadn't had an issue. I've also had luggage that's about an inch over many a times and I've never had an issue. So I think if you can book your seat further up in the plane, you can get on early, priority boarding, whatever it is, then you just know that you're gonna have space for everything. And because everything is so organized within the bag, it was very easy to take out my liquids and my laptop during the security checks and I wasn't fumbling to grab everything. The weight of the bag itself is also under three pounds, which is fantastic. There isn't usually too strict of, you know, restrictions on the personal item weight. It's more so your luggage weight, but it's still nice to have it be such a low weight for such a big bag. So you can really focus on what's actually going in the bag. So overall, I would say that this bag was well worth the money. I believe it's about $135 USD and they all often have certain sales. I think, you know, with the coupon code that I'm putting down below, that would absolutely be eligible for this item. So it is a very well priced bag for the quality and for the design that was put into this bag. It's very thoughtful and it's clear that, you know, the, the modern worker was considered when designing it. I'm really tempted to purchase the brown one, but I'm holding off. I am going to explore what other Bayes products there are. This was my first purchase, but I was so pleased that I'm going to be looking at the other items as well. Let me know if you want a review of any of the other items. I'm sure I'd be happy to purchase it to review it because I really did love it so much. Before I end the video, I will actually show you what it looks like compared to me. So I'm about a size 16 and about 5'11", so I'll just show you what it looks like standing up. So this is how it looks on me, quite tall, but you can see it doesn't look crazy oversized, but I am quite a big person. So that's that, and then I'll show you the strap as well. So that is the strap on me, and then here is it as a crossbody. So yeah, for my size, I don't think it looks too oversized at all, actually. I think it, it fits me quite nicely. Alrighty, that is the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. If there's anything I didn't cover or if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to help out. And I will see you again in my next video. Thanks, bye.